In today's skill building lesson, we're going to learn how to make a French seam. French seams are super nice because they hide all of the raw edges. To start making a French seam, you want to take the two pieces of fabric that you'd like to sew together and you want to place them with wrong sides together. Remember that the wrong side of the fabric is usually a little bit more dull than the right side, which is more vibrant. So I'm going to place my pieces wrong sides together. And I'm going to stitch along the edge that I want sewn with a quarter inch seam allowance or just a smidge less. After you've sewn your seam with a quarter inch seam allowance, it may be necessary to trim the seam. I would recommend this if you're not sure how precise your seam allowance is here or if you have really long threads um, or frayed edges that are hanging out. I would not trim it any smaller than an eighth of an inch, but if you feel like your seam allowance is a little large, go ahead and trim to about an eighth of an inch or just a smidge bigger. Once you've completed that, go ahead and open up your fabric. And we're going to press the seam allowance to one direction. I'm going to tuck the fabric just slightly to make sure it's pressing right at that seam. Then I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to turn it so that right sides are together. You want to be really careful to make sure you're turning it exactly on your stitch line. You want the stitches to be all the way on the edge of the fabric. You don't want anything tucked down inside or folded in. So to help you, you can use a turning tool and run it along the edge to make sure it's all the way turned out. So I'm just going to take my purple thing, I'm going to slide it in there along the edge, make sure it's fully turned out, and then I'm going to press it flat. I'm going to make sure to press this well so it's nice and crisp. Then I'm going to sew one more time, this time with my fabric right sides together. I'm going to sew along the exact same edge as before, but this time I'm going to use a bigger seam allowance so it will trap my raw edges inside. Usually the standard is to use a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Or if you're worried that your trimming and pressing in the previous steps are not exact, you may want to use a little larger seam allowance, such as a half an inch. Since I'm pretty confident that mine's the correct size, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stitch with a 3 8 inch seam allowance along this edge. If you like, you can then press it one more time to set the stitches. as well as opening it up and pressing the seam allowance to one side to give your front edge a nice crisp fold. We now have a very polished seam allowance. You can't see any raw edges because they're all trapped inside this channel. When you look at the front side, you shouldn't see any strings or raw edges along your finished seam. So while this technique requires a bit of precision and exactness, it provides a really nice finish to many projects. Thanks for watching and happy sewing.